Hey everyone, I'm Andy and I'm here with Sappy Squirrel, Svetlana Cat, Porter, and Polly sporting her new orange shirt. Just a very nice orange shirt, Porty Dokes. And today we're talking about Sappy's owners wanting her back. Ugh. That is to say, Sappy's previous owners, the ones who surrendered her to the Humane Society. We just got back from a nice long walk. It's almost two hours. That's just Sappy's longest walk so far. Oh, she's yapping. Yappy Sappy. This is very confused about Svetlana. <laughs> um, so anyway, I get home and I get a text from my wife and she said that the previous owners w apparently want her back. And uh, <laughs> that's definitely not happening. Not only should anyone anywhere not expect to be able to get a dog back that they surrendered to a rescue or uh, humane society etc Porto's already just sunbathing oh well, i'm tired from my walk that was a long walk uh, there was a lot of sniffing and peeing or especially if you surrender an animal that you know like in her case was emaciated or you know if it was in really bad condition or something like that it's uh it's very unlikely that you'll get them back and for good reason, right? I, I fully support that. Uh oh, she's got quite a little treat there. <laughs> That's a big chew stick for a little dog. But yeah, needless to say, they won't be getting her back. It's just, uh, if you give a dog up, maybe, you know, maybe give it some thought before you give it up. And I understand some people are forced to in some situations, but definitely not the people who, you know, not her people. Apparently they were very angry that they couldn't get her back and we're yelling at the the shelter worker who answered the phone. <laughs> Sometimes what happens is that people like this will actually try to get their dog back by having a friend try to adopt it. Um, we've actually caught people doing that through various means. And thankfully, that's not the case with <laughs> with our Humane Society because uh, it's not something we have to worry about because there is a very long waiting list and that would just be crazy odds for them to be, you know, at the front of a long waiting list. And again, I can't speak for every shelter and rescue, but <laughs> one thing between between us, if you surrender a dog, and especially if that dog's in bad condition, ooh, they uh, a lot of places will keep track of that, and it's a good chance you won't be able to sur or, or, uh, adopt in the future, at least not, you know, for a very long time. Again, it may not be the same everywhere, and, uh, you know, that's not... Certainly not uh, an official policy. <laughs> Sappy's really going to town on that chew stick right now. <laughs> but yeah, just a quick one today. Just wanted to let you guys in on that. I uh, thought that was something of interest and maybe a little information there. I hope you all have a great day and take care. <laughs>